What's up guys, welcome back to Fever Castles. Today we're going to start off with the Orlac. Castle levels a 32. Let's see what he's got. Alright. Alright, so we have a Mr. Boom Boom and a couple Explodifiers coming. Um, I'm actually going to pull back around this wall. This is going to abuse something new that's been changed in this last patch. Basically, they won't start firing until they see me. So what I can do is I can drop a volley where they're going to end up seeing me at. And then I can kind of stun the first one that comes around. And that'll get a bunch of extra damage dealt to them before they start attacking me. Um, it's a pretty significant nerf, to be honest, what, what's been changed to these guys. So... Um... I have to change out around my castle a little bit. I know a lot of people have been asking me if I'm going to rebuild my castle completely. I'm not sure yet because I'm not sure when the uh, the test server is going to come out. I guess I'm going to wait for a couple of days to see if maybe there's any news on it. Um, because, I mean, I would like to personally just do another video when the test server and when free creation mode comes out. Like, I don't care about losing a little bit of loot to people who can make it through my castle because I'm maxed out anyway. So taking the time to rebuild a castle, I mean, it is a little bit time-consuming when you have to do nine rooms or something. Alright. But we'll see. I might rebuild my castle. Um, the Doctor Skull, wow, that guy, that actually does so much more damage. I heard someone say that the uh, the rotating cannon trap does a lot of damage now. <laughs> and I, I was kind of ignoring it right there, and it actually did like 700 damage to me. Whereas normally it would have done about 300, so that's actually a really big buff. That I didn't really know about. That's pretty good. As you can see there, if they're stunned and they uh, and they come within vision of you, they still don't drop their bomblets. Rotating cannon traps are definitely a good way to go. You've definitely updated your castle in that respect. Explodifiers, I still think they're a little bit weak. Um, I mean you know, because of the nerf mainly. They used to be pretty good. Although, uh, timers got reduced as well, so I mean, I guess they're probably still more valid as like a time-wasting mechanic, especially with Mr. Boom Booms. I don't think you could be beat a castle, which I kind of regret saying this right now, but I don't think you were, you could beat a castle that uh, is designed around slowing the hero and uses a lot of Mr. Boom Booms. Which might be what you're going for now, because you're going for a lot of Dr. Skulls. I did hear there's a buff on Dr. Skull as well, so I'm going to have to test that out in the, in the next uh, the next time I see that unit. I'm guessing you'll use it again. If it's, like, that good. I, I haven't tested the damage that they actually do yet, because generally it can, they can still be one-shot volleyed pretty easily, so... Alright, so there you notice that your, uh, your Defenditron actually de-links from your Cyclops, if you kind of wait for the pull. You could speed up your Defenditron or slow down your Cyclops to get that to work a little bit better the way you want it to. These guys are still good. Their damage got reduced slightly, but it's not a big change, in my opinion. They're still probably one of the best um, overall DPS units in the game. And now maybe you could add... Um, rotating cannon traps to kind of reduce the playing field rather than using spike traps. You can do like a combination of both maybe. I don't know, I still have to find good rooms for that if that's what I'm going for. Hungerbots got um, nerfed like it's not even funny how much they got nerfed. The speed at which they throw their things is about a tier before what it used to be. So level 7 tier um, kind of acts like level 4, and level 4 was pretty easy to dodge anyway. I haven't seen level 4, I don't think, since the new patch came out, to see how slow it is. And this is, uh, you know, the level of the creature. Basically at tiers, if anyone's unaware of that, if you're newer to the game. Um, creatures tier, they get extra abilities, kind of um, unspoken, untold abilities at level 4 and level 7. Hungerbot's ability is that their hook gets faster at level 4 and gets faster at level 7. But it was nerfed in the last patch. Alright, what do we got? Another Explodifier. Couple more Explodifiers. So again, I'm going to throw a Volley out here. Do a little bit of extra damage. 
kill off two of them pretty much before they even get their bomblets out. And that's kind of why I don't really like Explodifiers anymore, because I think that they can be um, killed really quickly, and they just you don't get as much out of them as you used to. But yeah, that damage is actually pretty high, and it can crit, it seems like, because I remember getting um, having one tick of it do. Oh, wow. Okay, so he crit for 300, which isn't bad. Um, I think this could be more useful against knights, I think, than, uh, than archers. Because knights, at least at the higher levels, don't generally take King, Dra King Dragon Slash, which is their biggest AoE. And so in order to deal with this, it would be kind of annoying. Um, yeah, I've, I've seen some interesting things done with done with Dr. Skulls in castles, especially in um, some of the ca one of the castles, actually, in speci specifically, that uh, registers for a lot of the tournaments. There was one of them that I noticed that is it was really good at wasting time and actually dealing damage with Dr. Skulls even before the patch, so... Um, I mean, it could be a valid strategy now. I'm not going to say that this is a bad thing, because I... Well... <laughs> Alright. Um, but I'm not going to say Dr. Skulls are a bad unit um, until I've tested with them a little bit. I think they could have been changed enough so that they're useful now, so it's a possibility. Rotating cannon traps are definitely fixed. So these are some good little buffs that I'm noticing to the game, as well as the nerfs that came through. I guess they're maybe making the game a little bit more trap-centric rather than creature-centric with this tra with this patch, and I'm just wondering how that's going to kind of feel moving forward into free creation mode where you're going to be able to have as many traps as you possibly want. Like That almost opens up more exploits than I would say um, creatures where you probably will still have a 355 limit or you know a limit based on your summoning portal rather than you know traps where you probably won't have any limit. As you can see against Scorpios as well as uh, the Hunger Bots, their hook has gotten quite a bit. Uh, worse. I believe the Scorpio's hook also spreads out more than it used to, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Like, the angles of the hook is um, a little bit worse than it used to be. It makes it easier to dodge. Alright, let me drop a volley there. I don't know, I, I think that the nerfs were kind of unnecessary until we at least got the test server in and saw how the um, the free creation mode actually worked. I mean, I'm guessing the devs are playing around with it a little bit already, since they have that idea in place, but some of these nerfs seem a little bit unjustified, in my opinion. All in all, I think this is a pretty good castle. I would be a little bit worried about maybe using too many Explodifiers because of the nerfs that went through with them. I think, like, last patch, your castle would have been a lot better than it is now, and... Okay, I didn't crash. I thought I was going to crash, but I didn't. Alright. Um, the Mittens seems a little out of place in this boss room. I don't know. I don't like Mittens to begin with, so... With three... Was it three Hunger Bots or two Hunger Bots? I guess two Hunger Bots, a Cyclops, a Mittens and some other random units. I think that you um, you just don't have enough damage in your boss room. Like, you have all utility. You have a Defenditron, two of these, and a Mittens. That eats up a ton of your boss room, and a Bone Puppeteer. And your only damage is really the Cyclops. So I think um, you need to ha you need to like focus more on your boss room and think about what you really want to do with your boss room. You can make it a time waster boss room, or you can make it a, a damage dealing, but I think you have a lot of you know units that are utility that aren't really focused around um, you know, wasting time, you know, sustaining damage and stuff like that. I think it's more, you kind of have a mis mismatch of, uh, of units. You have this m Mittens that is increasing attack speed to units that aren't really dealing a lot of damage and stuff like that. So I hope that made sense. Um, we will jump into number two in just a second. Alright, next up is Sweet Tooth. Castle level is a 22. So this castle is going to be a little bit easy for my archer. I'll still try to give good advice. I'm kind of wondering what this cyclops is on. Is it on charge? 
See the charge and the the uh, charge and the hunger bot together is a little bit weird to me. Um, just because you're, I mean, I'm not sure what you're going for with it, right? Like, yeah, you can bash me down, but what are you gonna do on top of that? There's not really any damage in your in your group to do anything. Um, I guess it wastes a little bit of time. I don't know. We'll have to see how your castle kind of works throughout. So another bash. The archer is a little bit better. The archer kind of takes advantage of the cyclops charge, although that's been nerfed quite a bit. And I think it'd probably be possible to dodge out of the way of, um, dodge out of the way of a charge. Even before that, not dodge out of the way of the charge. Dodge out of the way of the arrow before the charge, um, you know, effect wears off. That didn't come out the way I wanted it to, but basically the charge is so low now. The stun effect on the charge is so low, you'd be able to dodge the arrow. There. That worked better. Um, I mean, it's still a reasonable thing to do, I think. I haven't tested it really at the lower levels. At level um, 28 and 32, this Cyclops still has enough, ch enough stun to actually make it somewhat worth it. You can still get at least one arrow off. All right. So I mean, at level 22, the archers are some of your best DPS. Obviously, mega muttons as well are really good. Um, since you just get them at that level. Let's see what else. Vamps, I've never really been a big fan of, but I've been seeing them lately doing a little bit more, as well as stab assassins doing a little bit more. It's just not a unit that I've really been all that happy with. The Defenditron on top of a Mega Mutton um, I think is kind of wasted because especially at level 22 because at level 22 the auto attack damage from a Mega Mutton I'm trying to get it to work but I'm, I keep blocking um, but the auto attack damage from a Mega Mutton at level 22 is quite low as you can see 130 someone your level might take 150 maybe up to like 175 but it's not gonna be all that much where like once you get up to level 26 Mega Muttons, they do about 300 to 400 damage from an auto attack. So it makes it a little bit more worth it to actually, you know, have that longer lifespan when they're not damaged, aka a Defenditron on top of them. But from level 22, your main damage is going to come from the fire and come from the charge kind of landing you into the fire. Um, that's kind of what you're going for with a Mega Mutton. So I personally, I like an, a healer or like a dampener if you don't have enough points for a healer plus a defenditron or something like that I like a little bit better you know a silence on top of you right when you want to roll out of the way of a mega mutton can you know land you a kill so that's reasonable all right and then another cyclops two archers or just one one archer a healer that's reasonable um, the cyclops is kind of out in the open at this point you would know that it's a charging cyclops so, meh. You'd probably be aware of it and probably wouldn't get hit by the Cyclops, but it's okay. Alright, and then a Count Snottingham to round it all out is good as well. Probably the highest DPS boss in the game, so not too bad. Um, we will jump into number 3 in just a second. Alright, and lastly we have Noob King. His castle level is 18, so I'll jump into it on my knight. Alright, so I like the charge and the Zeke. Um, if you did notice there, though, what I basically did is I just kind of ran straight towards the first unit that I saw, and by doing that I kind of auto-dodged the Cyclops. Maybe, I mean, I don't want it to make it so that you can actually see the Cyclops, because I like how you have it kind of behind this wall here. Um, I was going to say that maybe you could line it up a little bit more towards so, the wide, so it's like charging at you in, on an angle rather than straight down, which makes it a little bit easier to have the Cyclops hit you, but if you see it, it's going to be a lot easier to dodge, so I don't know exactly what you could do there. Alright, so this is pulling around. You do have another group here with like a Hunger Bot I've noticed, and maybe a Defenditron I think I saw up there. Alright, 
Um, keeping in mind with the patch and how it is, one advice that I might say is that it's possible that uh, rotating cannon traps are just better in a lot of ways um, than spike traps, especially at your level, because your level, spike traps only have two active panels at once, so it makes it a lot easier to get over the spike trap without taking damage, as well as the spike trap just not doing a lot of damage in general um, at your level quite yet. I like the fire bombs. I think they're pretty high damage as well at your level. They're pretty high damage all the time. Like they add up quite a bit. They're easy to dodge if you're adamant about dodging them. But if someone like me, sometimes I ignore them. I don't know why. I just do, and then um, I end up realizing that I have no potions left at like the boss room or something because I've just kind of went through them. As you can see, this is a level. Okay, so it's a level three hunger bot. So this is a little bit. I mean, hunger bots at level three are almost never good, so they're still pretty slow. The hooks, um, but they're obviously not that long. So I wouldn't go crazy about using hunger bots. You can use one or two in like certain circumstances, like this, where you're trying to set them up with archers and stuff. But don't go crazy with it. All right. Alright, so again, you can see kind of the same situation there. I ran into the room, I saw the Cyclops charging, and I just kept running, and he kind of missed. Um, the only thing you can really do is try to set up your Zeeks a little bit better inside of, like, chokes and stuff, and have the Cyclops run on more of an angle so it can kind of catch you in different areas. Alright, um... So, I mean, like, that one was a little bit better. If I had stayed a little bit longer on this first snotter here, it would have probably caught me. Alright, we got a Jimbo. Just kind of keep stepping back when it's about ready to swing. Took one hit there. But yeah, this is a pretty standard place to use a Jimbo with a standard support setup. These guys can be a little bit annoying for knights to deal with, which you might see. You get close to them and then they teleport away. Um, you know, they're only level 16 and I'm level 19, so it's kind of on the far edge of um, where like the next level would be level 20. So I'm like the highest level I could possibly be without the Stairmasters being the same level as me. So they're a little bit easier for me to deal with. Alright, and then we have kind of a setup that I used to use except we have a Zeke and looks like a Hunger Bot. I actually like this quite a bit. I think this is a pretty good boss room. It's It combos very nicely. The Zeke has really high damage output and you have enough sustained... Um, Sustained like healing and defendatrons and stuff like that, which makes this boss room quite good. Alright. So, yeah, pretty good castle. Um, this is number three, so we're going to end the video here. Looks like I actually looted you. Um, but, yeah, we're going to end the video here. If you guys enjoyed, I do as always. Please subscribe. Uh, if you want to be a part of Ubercast, you can email me at frenzycastleruns at hotmail.com, and I will try to get to your castle whenever I have time. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.